Hello everyone, this is John Hashmet and welcome to Physics Simply. In this video, I will be solving the paper 2 exam for February, March 2016. So let's get started. Question 1 says the diameter of a copper wire is thought to be approximately 0.3 millimeters. Which instrument should be used to obtain a more accurate measurement of the diameter of the wire? That would be a micrometer. The measuring tape, meter rule and ruler all have the same scale. Micrometer has a scale which reads two decimal places in millimeters so the answer is C question 2 says which is a unit of acceleration that would be meter per second squared so the answer is C question 3 says an object is released from rest and falls to earth during its fall the object is affected by air resistance the air resistance eventually reaches a constant value which description about the successive stages of motion of the object is correct? So as speed increases, air resistance increases. This causes the resultant force and acceleration of the object downwards to decrease. Until the air resistance balances the weight, then the resultant force is zero and it moves with constant speed. So decreasing acceleration, then not constant deceleration, zero acceleration for constant speed or terminal velocity. So we choose D. Question 4 says a concrete post is carried up a very high mountain. At the top of the mountain, the gravitation field is slightly weaker than at the bottom. What is the effect of this weaker field on the mass and on the weight of the post? So the mass does not change, it is unchanged. And the weight is less because weight is proportional to the gravity field strength. So the answer here is C. Question 5 says the diagram shows a cuboid block made from a metal of density 2.5 grams per centimeter cube. What is the mass of the block? So mass is equal to the density multiplied by the volume. The density is 2.5 and the volume is these dimensions multiplied by each other. So 2 by 2 by 10. That gives an answer of 100 grams. So choose D. Question 6 says the diagram shows an object moving at a constant speed in a circular path in the direction shown. A force acts on the object to keep it in a circular path. In which label direction does this force act when the object is in the position shown? So this force is called the centripetal force and always acts towards the center. So we choose B. Question 7 says a spring obeys Hooke's law. Which graph is obtained by plotting the extension of the spring against the load applied? So Hooke's law states that the extension and load are directly proportional, so that would be a straight line through the origin, so we choose A. Question 8 says, which is the value of a vector quantity, 200 volts, 100 kilograms per meter cubed, 20 meters per second east with direction, that would be the one, so the answer is C. Question 9 says the table gives four energy sources and states whether the energy of the source is derived from the sun. Which row is correct? So geothermal energy is derived from the planet, not the sun. Oil is derived from the sun. Water held behind the dam, again from the sun. Wind, again from the sun. So this should be no. This should be yes. This is yes. So this is the answer. For wind, it should be yes. So the answer here is C. Question 10 says a weightlifter raises a 2000 Newton weight through a vertical height of 2 meters in 0.8 seconds. What useful power does he develop in doing this? So power is equal to the work done divided by the time or the force times distance divided by the time. So we have the force 2000 times the distance 2 meters. Then we divide by the time 0.80 seconds. That gives an answer of 5000 watts. So we choose D. Question 11 says a wind turbine generates 54 kilowatts of useful power from an input of 180 kilowatts of wind power. Which calculation gives the percentage efficiency of the turbine? That would be the output divided by the input times 100. So output divided by input, that is correct, but the 100 should be at the top. This is input divided by output. This is output divided by input and the 100 is at the top. So this is the correct one. So choose C. Question 12 says a force acts on an area to produce a pressure which changes produce the same pressure. So doubling the area and doubling the force. So pressure is equal to force divided by area. If you multiply by 2 on both the numerator and denominator, they will cancel out and you will get the same pressure. So this is the correct answer. So choose A. Question 13 says identical toy bricks 
are placed one on top of another to make a tower on a table, which graph shows the relationship between the pressure that the tower exerts on the table with the weight of the tower. So the pressure is proportional to the force, which is the weight here. So we get a graph of a straight line passing through the origin. So that would be D. Question 14 says gas can be compressed, but liquids cannot. Which statement explains this difference? Each molecule in a gas is more compressible. No molecules themselves do not compress. Molecules in a gas are further apart than molecules in a liquid. That is correct. Molecules in a gas attract each other more. No. Molecules in a gas move more slowly. No, they move faster. So the answer here is B. Question 15 says the diagram shows a quantity of gas trapped in a cylinder. The piston is pushed in slowly and the gas is compressed. The temperature of the gas does not change. Which graph shows the relationship between pressure and the volume of the gas? So if we have constant temperature, pressure and volume are inversely proportional. So we choose B, which is the shape of an inverse relation. Question 16 says, which quantity gives thermal capacity of a solid object? The energy lost by radiation from the object in one second, that would be power. The energy needed to melt the object, no, that would be something called latent heat capacity, which was removed from the syllabus. The energy needed to raise the temperature of the object by one degree Celsius, that is the definition of thermal capacity. So the answer is C. Question 17 is about thermometers, so you can skip this question for the new syllabus. It says to mark a temperature scale on a thermometer, standard temperatures known as fixed points are needed. Which of these is a fixed point on the Celsius scale? Room temperature, no. The temperature inside the freezer, no. The temperature of pure melting ice, yes. That would be the zero degree Celsius. The temperature of pure warm water, not warm water, boiling water is the correct one. So the answer here is C. Question 18 says, in an experiment, a liquid is heated at a constant rate. The temperature of the liquid increases and eventually becomes constant. Which statement about the experiment is correct? Boiling occurs at all temperatures, but only on the liquid surface. No. Boiling occurs through the liquid, but only at a constant temperature. That would be correct. Evaporation occurs throughout the liquid. No. Evaporation occurs only at constant temperature. No. So the answer here is B. Question 19 says, one end of a copper rod is heated. What is one method by which thermal energy is transferred in the copper rod? So this is conduction in a metal. Free electrons transfer energy from the cooler end to the hotter end, not from the cooler to the hotter. Free electrons transfer energy from the hotter end to the cooler end, yes. Molecules of the copper move, no. In solids, molecules do not leave their place. So the answer here is B. Question 20 says, two plastic cups are placed one inside the other. A small spacer keeps the two cups separated. Hot water is poured into the inner cup and a lid is put on top as shown. Which statement is correct? The bench is heated by convection. No, because it is below and hot fluids rise upwards. The lid reduces energy lost by convection. Yes, because trapping the air above the liquid will not cause convection current or will prevent the convection currents. There is no thermal conduction through the sides. There is thermal conduction, but at a very slow rate. Thermal radiation is prevented. No, again, thermal radiation cannot be prevented. It can be reduced. So the answer here is B. Question 21 says, which is a unit of wavelength? That would be meters because wavelength is a length. So the answer is B. Question 22 says, which diagram correctly shows a ray of light reflected by a plane mirror? So the angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection. Here the incidence and reflection are not equal, so it's not A. Here the angle of incidence again is 40 and reflection 50, so it's not B. In C we have 40 inside here and 40 here, so that makes 50 here, so it's not C again. In D, we have 90 minus 50, that makes 40 inside, and 40 for the reflection angle, so the correct answer is D. Question 23 says, which diagram shows how a converging lens is used as a magnifying glass? The object should be placed between the focal point and the lens, and the image should be virtual, made of the extensions of light. So here, the object is placed beyond the focal length, and the rays do not need extension backwards. In B, the object is placed in between the lens and the focal length, and the rays needed to be extended backwards, so this is the correct one, so choose B. 
as for the other two rays the ray that should go towards the focus is a ray parallel to the principal axis not one that is inclined and for the last one this ray should not continue straight so these are incorrect Question 24 says a sound wave travels from point X to point Y. Which diagram represents the movement of the air molecules due to the sound wave in the region between X and Y? So if the wave is moving in this direction, the vibration of the particles in sound waves, which is a longitudinal wave, should be parallel to the direction of the wave motion or energy transfer. So we choose D, which is parallel to the direction of the wave. Question 25 says the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second. Which row gives typical values for the speed of sound in liquid and in a solid? So if a liquid like water, the speed is 1500. And in a solid, that would be in terms of thousands. So 5000. So the common answer here is D. Question 26 says in which pair are both materials magnetic? Not aluminium, not copper, not copper again. Iron and steel are both magnetic. Aluminium again not magnetic, so the answer here is C. Question 27 says which methods could be used to demagnetize a magnet? Place it in an east-west direction and hammer it. That would work. Place it in an east-west direction and heat it until it is red hot. Yes. Pull it slowly from a coil that is carrying an alternating current. Yes. Put it slowly into a coil that is carrying a direct current that would magnetize it or make it stronger. So it's not the last one. So methods 1, 2 and 3 only. So the answer is A. Question 28 says, which produces an electromotive force, a battery, filament lamp, resistor, a spring balance? Electromotive force is a voltage of a power supply, so a battery here is the correct choice, so it is A. Question 29 says, the table describes four different resistance wires. They are all made from the same metal. Which wire has the smallest resistance? That would be the shortest length and the widest diameter or cross-sectional area, so 1.5. And the common answer here is B. Question 30 says which circuit shows the directions of the conventional current I and the flow of electrons. So current goes out of the positive terminal. So this is correct. This is also correct. C and D are incorrect for current. And for the electrons, they flow opposite in direction to the current. So the correct answer here is B. Because current is going anticlockwise and electrons are going clockwise. Question 31 says four lamps are each labeled 240 volts. In which circuit do all four lamps have normal brightness? Which means they all must have 240 volts across them. That would be with a power supply of 240 volts, all lamps connected in parallel. So we choose C where all lamps are connected in parallel. Question 32 says a battery charger plugs into a 230 volts AC supply. The charger is used to charge a 6 volt DC battery. The charger contains diodes and a transformer. What is the purpose of these components? Diodes are used to rectify the AC. That means convert AC to DC. And, and the transformer is supposed to decrease the voltage from 230 to 6. So it is a step down transformer. So the answer here is A. Question 33 says the diagram shows a potential divider connected to 2 voltmeters P and Q. The resistance of the variable resistor is decreased. So the resistance here decreases. That causes this voltage to decrease. And automatically the other voltmeter will increase in reading since the total battery voltage is the same. If one decreases, the other must increase to give the total constant. Which row shows what happens to the reading on each voltmeter? So P decreases and Q increases. So the answer here is B. Question 34 says, after some building work in a house, a bare live wire is left protruding from a wall. What is the greatest hazard? If someone touches the live wire, the exposed live wire, they will get electrocuted. So it is not fire. It is not the fuse blows. Electric shock is the main danger here. Current will flow normally, so it's not D. So the answer is C. Question 35 says an electron moves into a uniform magnetic field. The arrow shows the initial direction of motion of the electron. The direction of the magnetic field is into the plane of the page. In which direction does a force act on the electron when it enters the magnetic field? 
So there is a current that is opposite in direction to the motion of the electron because it is negatively charged. And there is a magnetic field into the page. Now using Fleming's left hand rule here, we say that the current is to the left. So middle finger to the left and the index finger is pointing into the page. The thumb will automatically point downwards. So we say that it is towards the bottom of the page. So the answer is C. Question 36 says the diagram shows an AC generator. As the coil passes through the position shown, the output voltage is positive 10 volts. When does the output voltage become negative 10 volts? That would be when the motion of each side is reversed. Reversed means 180 degrees, so the answer is B. Question 37 says the scattering of alpha particles by a thin metal foil supports the nuclear model of an atom. Why are alpha particles used rather than neutrons? Because they always travel more slowly? No. Because they are heavier? No. Because they are larger in diameter? No. Because they have positive charge? Yes. Because they are charged and will get affected by any other charge. So the answer is D. Question 38 says a nucleus of radioactive substance PO undergoes an alpha decay followed by a beta decay. What are the nuclear number and proton number of the nucleus formed after both decays have happened? So the proton number decreases by 2 at first for the alpha decay and then increased by 1 for the beta decay. So the total change is minus 1. So 84 minus 1 that gives 83. And for the nuclear number we decreased by 4 for the alpha decay and nothing happens with the beta decay. So 218 minus 4 that would be 214. So the common answer here is C. Question 39 says a scientist carries out an experiment using a sealed source which emits beta particles. The range of the beta particles in the air is about 30 centimeters. Which precaution is the most effective to protect the scientist from the radiation? Handling the source with long tongues that would work since the distance reached is only 30 centimeters. Keeping the temperature of the source low, temperature does not affect radiation. Opening all windows that does not affect radiation. Washing his hands before leaving the laboratory. No, not handling it at all with hands directly. That would be the best option. So using tongues. So the answer is A. Question 40 says which row describes a nature of alpha particles and gamma rays? Alpha particles are helium nuclei and gamma rays are electromagnetic waves. So the common choice here is A. So this was the end of the exam. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep practicing and I will see you in another video.